Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. All right, so let's jump in. What's going on in your connection for Capricorn spirit? Angels, guys. Messages for Capricorn. What's going on in this connection for Capricorn? What's going on, Spirit? In this connection, mutual energies. Okay, we have new beginnings. You're ready for a new beginning and a fresh start. What else? What else is going on here for Capricorn? And the person that they are interested in or connecting with at this time. Hidden feelings, silence, suppression, fear. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. And we have closed off at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. So someone here could be um, tentative or hiding their feelings. Um, this is tied to a new beginning in some way here. Maybe this is someone that is closed off or um, guarded, keeping their feelings to themselves or not communicating here. What else do we need to know about Capricorn and this other person's spirit? Tell me more about Capricorn and their connection. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so yeah, this could be a, um, a connection where there's not a lot of communication or any at all. Um, I do see that, that it could be a possibility. Okay, um, someone's disconnected, guarded, has retreated. Maybe to think. Um, this could be that someone here is ready for a new beginning, um, is ready for something new, but they're not voicing it, they're not sharing it. Let's see. Tell me more for Capricorn. Tell me more. What's going on for Capricorn spirit in love? What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and their person? We have the Page of Wands. Tell me more for Capricorn. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. Interested. I feel like someone here wants to make a move. Now I'm trying to figure out if this is a move towards you or vice versa, or if this is a move outside of this connection. Can I get one more? What's going on here? Capricorn ace of Pentacles yeah interesting Capricorn this could be some someone completely new wanting to approach you king of wands bottom of the deck here Aries Leo Sagittarius four of wands okay uh, tell me about the page of wands this could be something that starts off as a fling and ends up being something serious this could be somebody that just expresses interest in you and then it kind of just moves forward from there. Tell me more about this page of wands. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is going to progress. Knight of Cups. Yeah. This I feel is going to be for those of you who are interested in someone but it hasn't really gotten anywhere or this is a new beginning that you want to have with someone. Um, but I feel like this is this there's interest here. Someone wants to make a move here, wants to make a move towards you. Um, for a lot of you, or not a lot of you. Well, yeah, for a lot of you, I don't think you're in contact with this person. And I feel like um some of you have a secret admirer here. That's a possibility as well. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? The wheel. Yeah, someone's just waiting for an opportunity here. Five of Pentacles. Um, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone wants an opportunity here, but with the Five of Pentacles, they're a bit shut out or um, maybe they feel left out or feel far from you or distant from you. I'm not sure why. Some of you, this could be an ex. You know, that maybe you like walked away from or that walked away from you because I do have the Knight of Cups. So this could be an apology of some sort. But I feel like this is someone that wants a chance for something new here. And I and this could be you or this could be your person. Um, it could even be both of you actually. 
So let's jump into how you're feeling about each other. What are your energies? Spirit angels, guys. Tell me about Capricorn and the person they are interested in or involved with at this time. Tell me about Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm going to have you on this side and your person on the other, but the energies can be flipped, so feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Capricorn. You and I were too young. I'm also picking up, I heard immature, so maybe someone wasn't ready. Um, like they were too young um, emotionally or something like that for a connection. Maybe this happened in the very distant past as well, like a childhood romance or love or something like that or high school. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, you're not in contact with this person. I feel like you're not really talking. Tell me more about Capricorn and this person. Uh, what are their energies, spirit? I just smelled flowers. I don't have flowers at all in this room, so I know it's not me. Um, and it's definitely not my dogs. <laughs> I just smelled flowers, so I feel like someone could be um, something with flowers, a garden, going out to like a garden or outside or giving you flowers. Maybe there's someone that wears flower perfume. I don't know. That was very strong, so I just wanted to just share it in case it resonates. Tell me about Capricorn's energy. Turtle, okay. Tell me about Capricorn's person's energies. What about other person? What are their energies? The person that they're interested in or in a connection with their energies. Okay, Panther. So interesting. The turtle is very, um, it's a card about someone that's balanced. They're of the earth and the water. So they are able to travel from one to the other. So they're very adaptable. They collect life experiences under their shells. So what I'm getting is that you've grown and matured. And I feel like with the Panther card, this is kind of like the, the tower card. I feel like this person is going to cause some sort of tower like event. Um, and I mean that like someone that this person could like surprise you in some way. Can I get one more for this person? One more card for this person that Capricorn is dealing with or will be dealing with. I need to know about this person. Please forgive me. What's this? I have a choice to make and I can't let you go at the bottom of the deck. Please forgive me. Okay, so um, interesting. This person, I'm not sure what happened between you and this person. It's going to be different for all of you. But they are feeling like they must, they should apologize here. Which I kind of picked up with the Knight of Cups. So it's a possibility. Give me one second, guys. I want to get a card from the, my Stellar Rainbow Oracle deck. They just like, they just called my name. So <laughs> tell me more, Spirit. Tell me about Capricorn. Give me some insight, please, for Capricorn. Libra, ruled by Venus. Okay, so I feel like you are going to get justice here in some way because my, um, my, my cards with the astrology signs are also tied to the major arcana. But I'm also picking up, like, maybe you're interested in balance or reciprocity. Wow, that's a big word. Um, <laughs> I feel like... Um, yeah, you, you, you're you mature. You're a very mature individual, or at least you look that way. You look like you have it together. I feel like this is how probably somebody could be seeing you as well. Um, I feel like justice here is very important on your end. We'll see if you get justice when um, I take out some tarot cards for you. But I feel like there's something here that's going to be fair and balanced for you. Number 22 here. Okay, tell me about Capricorn's person. What do we need to know, spirit? 
lucky, fortunate, and blessed. And then I have the Wheel of Fortune. This person is going to try to have an opportunity here. Um, waiting for the opportunity. It's almost like that's all they want. It's like, I just want a chance. Or I'm going to make this happen. I feel like um, luck is on my side. And I'm going to make this happen in whatever way. You know, I, I'm picking this up. Especially with the Panther card. It's almost like a F it. I'm just going to go for it energy. Okay, so let's see. Let me pick some oracles here for you. Okay, I don't know. I want this deck for you. Tell me more for Capricorn Spirit. Tell me more. And remember, you can flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me more about Capricorn's energy spirit. What is Capricorn thinking, feeling? Oh, wow. We got the Knight of Cups again. We got the Sun and the Three of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the World and the Six of Wands. Wow. Then the Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap. Okay. So I feel like this has a lot of potential for success. For um, this could be, this offer can make you very happy, but I feel like there's pain tied to this offer. I'm getting like bittersweet energy here. Why is the Three of Swords here? I wonder why. Let's see. Why is the Three of Swords here? King of Wands, the Star, Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with a fire sign here. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. This could be somebody coming in that helps you with this, though. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. There's a bit of doubt here on your side. Um, this energy of, like, it's it, words are not enough for you. Like, you want to see the results or you want to see how something actually, like, the effort that someone puts into something. Why is the star here? Five of Cups. Yeah, something in the past happened to really disappoint you, hurt you here. Someone really hurt you, Capricorn. I think it's affecting you, how you feel or interact with this person. I don't know. They're responsible because they are feeling like, that. yeah, this is about healing. Um, so this could be, I'm seeing this in two ways. This could be something completely new that comes in that helps you with this with these feelings. Um, this could be an offer that comes in that makes you very happy and heals this this heartbreak that you've experienced or um, I don't know, it just ends up being so much better than it was before. I also picture that some of you could be dealing with a person who might want to make things right and they do. Death, Scorpio energy, and then the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the world at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like this could be a change in a good way. This could have already ended and now somebody's coming back to fix it. But I feel like if you're not dealing with an ex, if you're not interested in with an ex, then don't fear because the death card can mean change, transformation. So something that's completely different for you in, in, in the best way is what I'm seeing here. So let's see. Let's look at your person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Sarah, tell me about Capricorn's person. What are their energies towards Capricorn? Or this connection. What are their energies towards Capricorn or this connection? What do we need to know about what this person is thinking or feeling? Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Is five of cups. Okay, so they're also heartbroken. Four of pentacles. They've been holding back from you. Yeah, and look, the three of swords. Six of swords. This person could have walked away from you or they're walking away from something difficult. Yeah. They're, they're, it's like they're making some sort of move here with the chariot. And this, this, okay, so I'm, again, I'm seeing two groups of people here. Some of you, this person walked away from you and they have a lot of regrets for that. Um, they want to come in, they want to approach you, but there's fear here. Um, they're holding back because of the pain they caused. I do see that. 
for others of you that are not dealing with an ex, I see this person leaving a difficult situation or having some sort of regret tied to love in general. We'll see. Let me see. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Strength, Leo energy. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The High Priestess, wow. Four of Cups, Queen of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, so there's some difficulty here. Um, conflict, drama, um, secrets possibly. Someone was uh, checked out here. I feel like their intuition has guided them regarding this departure. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. You get one more, please. Empress, wow. This person is walking right towards their Empress. Yeah, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person is thinking about their Divine Feminine. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Or they're thinking about growth manifestation somewhere else. What's this Five of Cups in regards to? King of Wands. This is Five of Cups regarding her. the devil, Capricorn energy. This person got themselves into trouble. Maybe they were a player in the past, or maybe they um, they jumped into things very quickly, and it just didn't end well. Page of Swords. This could also be you, Capricorn. That this person's very like desires you a lot here. But I do see, I do see that this person could have had some regrets tied to the past because they they weren't really smart. <laughs> and now with the Page of Swords, this could be somebody that wants to talk about their regrets, either the past with you or just regrets in general that they have. Um, maybe they had a chance with you in the past and they never went for it. They never took it as well. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. And now it's like they want to make some sort of a move here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? What's this about? Judgment. Yeah, this person could definitely be wanting a second chance or they're going to call you <laughs> or talk to you. Um, but I feel like this is like a call. Tell me about Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're going to make you a big offer here. The cherry at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. I feel like this is somebody that is, um, wants to make you an offer. I feel like when they think of you, they think of you as someone that, yeah, Page of Wands, so expect communication from this person and, you know, and there's the wheel at the bottom of the deck. It's like they're waiting for the right opportunity to talk to you to make their move. It's like waiting for the, the right time to make their move. And I feel like this might surprise you in some way. Um, just because I feel like there's, there's, there's no contact right now. So it's almost like this will be like out of the blue or something like that. So let's see, where is all of this headed? So I'm going to pick three cards for where, um, what's next, you know, what's next for the connection for Capricorn spirit. What's next? What's next for this connection spirit for Capricorn and this person? What's next for this connection for Capricorn and this person? We have the high priestess. What's next for this connection? The star, Aquarius energy. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> What's next for this connection? Two of cups. Okay. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. So this is what I see. I see someone pining after you or secretly wishing for you. Um, I really hope that this person decides to 
take some sort of action because I don't see it here in the near future. It doesn't mean that it's never going to happen, but it's almost like it might take a little bit of time for whatever reason. I think the burden here or the barrier is the lack of communication or if you are talking to this person, it's not the conversations that they would want to be having. Um, I feel like this is a very special connection though. This could even be a soulmate for you with the two of cups and the lovers here. This could be something that is just, you know, very strong bonds, um, a partnership that's, you know, it's like your other half, all of that. I do see that. It has some sort of wish or desire here with a star. Let me see. Can I get one for the star? Just want to pick one more card for the star. What is the star energy about spirit? It's like hope, desire, a wish, faith, healing, renewal, the moon. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is someone that is secretly desiring something with you. Pisces energy. I'm also getting very like, like strong intuitive energy here. So it's like, you know, the moon's very important. I feel like this is this could happen like with a full moon or new moon or something like that because I have a moon here as well. Um, all right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Um, hopefully this resonated for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribe to see more readings from me. Leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello or if you'd like to share how the reading resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.